Okay, YouTube, I got my rocket mass heater going. I don't know if you can hear that. This right here is just a lid I made to put on top of here. So if I leave or whatever, I can just close it up. <clears throat> if you look at this barrel, you can see where it really gets hot. <clears throat> I got some water in this pan. If you set this pan right there where the standpipe comes up, it'll boil. If you know how these work, you got your riser in here, the fire comes back down. <clears throat> And I got my flue pipe that comes down here. Uh, I got this filled up with sand. And that pipe comes all the way down to this end. Comes back around. Comes down here. And then comes up. And goes out the wall right here. And that pipe goes right through. It's touching the vinyl siding on the outside. And you can see right here the original sticker that was on the pipe when I bought it. It, it don't get hot enough to burn that off. It's just like a dryer pant. You can touch it. Makes a good hand warmer. Got to clean out <clears throat> right here. And I have noticed I do get condensation coming out of that clean out. And I don't know how to prevent that. But if you burn this for four hours, it'll heat most of that mass up. Then you let it set for three or three hours or so. And throw some more wood in it. These are feed sacks with, with wood chucks in it. That's what I'm burning. And about two of those sacks a day is what it, I got this in my garage in, in my wood shop. Got all kinds of woodwork and stuff in here. And it does a pretty good job. So if you're thinking about building one of these, I do recommend it. The original standpipe I had in this barrel was uh, six inch. And I ended up going to an eight inch. It's quarter inch thick. And my flue pipe is six inch, which I think it would have been better if I used eight inch because it would draw better. And this this flue pipe I got running through this sand is at the bottom. And it comes down here and goes back around this way and comes back up. And I think it would have been better if I would have made two layers of it, had had two runs of it through the bottom, put some sand in, and then bring it back down and back around this way again and then out. That way it would heat the mass up a lot quicker. But you can cook on it. And it does a pretty good job here in the shop. Burns a lot less wood than a regular mass heater would. Got me a little fire poker here. There you go. I bought the book for rocket mass heaters and I used it. Didn't follow all the recommendations. Went with six inch flu, should have used eight.
it does a good job.